Whatever, everybody jumping in. What's good, everybody? What's good? Where are all my moderators at? If you just jumped in here, Q Man, I was waiting for you. Q Man, what's good? Let's run it up. If you in here right now, it's 200 people in here. Hit the like button. Q Man is already on the job. Blue, come here. Blue. Let me show y'all my, my new dog. Show y'all my new dog. Look at the camera. Look at the camera, dude. I mean, girl. <laughs> Look at her blue eyes, though. She's pretty dope. All right, all right, all right, all right. 360 King in here. What's good? All right, ow. Okay. Uh, GZ, you let your life keep the dog? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Sitting here real mad about it. Yeah, man, I'll let her keep it. GZ, you spent it. Appreciate it. All right, there's 264 people in here. It's only 77 likes, man. Run the likes up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on now. If you in here, do not be a hater all your life. Hit that like button. It only take one time to hit the, you know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. That's all it takes. Boom. Just hit the like button. You like the 49ers? Yes, sir. Brush backwards? Never that. Thank you for helping me out, teaching your videos. Your class uh, is a class. I... Uh, Class that I taught me. May God bless you. Class that taught me. Hey, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Where the like button at? Wow, you don't know where the like button at? Just, I mean, it's, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I'm ready to put some babies in the crib, bro. <laughs> yeah, that man reading. Everybody listening. <laughs> Q man is on the job right now, so if you're saying something foul, he gonna he gonna definitely put you on timeout. So watch what you say. Let's not give him nothing to do today. <laughs> How long she you with the first time? Four weeks. Four weeks. Don't 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 woof. Don't don't go on a extreme woof session on your first one. Not even on your second one. Just go. Just go on a regular wolf session, you know what I'm saying? Not too long. You want to lock in your progress. You want to lock in your waves. And haircuts help with locking in your uh, your pattern. How many brushes should you own? Realistically, you should just have three brushes, a hard, medium, and soft. Realistically, that's all you really need. But if you're a real waver, you're going to go overboard. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get all the brushes that you can, really. You're going to get brushes because they look good. Sixteen-year-old cutting since I was eight. Love the content. You taught me so much. Appreciate it, man. That's what's up. Glad I could, glad I could uh, you know what I mean, teach you how to cut hair. You watch Rick and Morty? Nah. I really don't be watching TV like that. I just got done with uh, watching. Um, I got done with watching um, that Marvel movie, Loki. It's not a movie, but Jeezy yeah. goaded though. Appreciate it. That Loki series was dope, man. I must say that Loki series. It was a dope. It was it was a dope series. How often should you shampoo and deep condition? You should shampoo your hair every week. That's what I started doing. I wash my hair every week now. I used to do every every month. I used to wash my hair only every like every month, but now, you know, now that I went all natural, now I know how to like really bounce, get my hair to bounce back. Wash my hair every week.
But I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to get a session in, man. I'm about to get a real session in. Listen, uh, listen. If you, uh, if you want your comment read, do the super chat. I'll read it. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this session in. I could definitely see somebody do a super chat, even with this mirror, even with you know me uh, turning around. But uh, I can't really read what it says until somebody super chats. Let's go, Devonte uh, Gilmore. Appreciate the five dollars. You should have said something though, bro. Like, say something. You can send money and then say something. <laughs> Appreciate the $5 though, bro. But I'm just working on my crown area right now. Um, for all my swirlers out there, um, you really need to focus on your crown. The reason why I say um, crown is most important because all the forks come from your crown so if your crown got a lot of forks in it and i was talking about it on live on facebook today your crown got a lot of forks in it chances are you know what i'm saying it's just gonna eventually come out here if you got fork right here it's eventually gonna travel its way down here if you got a fork right here it's eventually gonna travel its way down here so if you really babe what are you doing Can you move to me? okay I'm gonna say, move in here with your booty shorts on. Get out of here with all that. I gotta block. I gotta block all the way. Hold on. Go ahead. Hey, you gotta block the wall. You know what I'm saying? Got your booty shorts on over here. You got your booty shorts. What you talking about? Hey, messing up my whole life. Get your booty shorts. Get your booty shorts. Nobody, nobody wanna flash that. Come on now. Everybody, everybody on live, like, yeah. bro, get your head out the way. Nah, nah, you perfs, get your own. <laughs> get your own, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to look at mine. <laughs> All right, so back to the. <laughs> All right, babe. This new makeup. That's good. Mm -hmm. oh, that's yeah. So like I was saying, like I was really interrupted by my wife. Sorry, babe. Like I was saying, really go in and pay attention to your forks near your crown area and perfecting your crown because all the waves that's right here is going to eventually travel right here, all right? So I like to make sure my waves look super dope right here because if, it's, if it looks nice and smooth and connected right here, chances are it's going to travel out here. And all these waves right here are eventually going to be gone, pushed out. Waves move, all right? Just like the waves in the ocean don't stay on the shore. I mean, it don't stay on the, uh, st it don't stay in the ocean. It has to come to that shoreline. This is the same thing, man. When you're brushing your hair, all the waves come to the shoreline, and then you cut it out, all right? Every every wave that you have, you know, if be it right here, eventually it's going to travel. Eventually it's going to travel. Waves move that your hair on your head moves it's not going to stay the same the entire time so make sure you focus in on your crown area and that way everything could uh you know everything else will flow everything else will follow everything else will be more connected i got another super chat uh Devante with another five dollars said how do you fix thin thinning lines thinning lineups especially the corners Bro, A, G in the building. My bad, I had to do that. Uh, how do you fix thinning lines, the lineups, especially in your corners? Bro, there's really not too much you can do, bro, but try to use Rogaine and uh, build your build your corners back up, man. I, I, I spray mine with enhancements. My hairline ain't, you know what I mean? It's, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm thinning in some areas too. And uh, not to say that I'm using Rogaine for my, my corners, because I'm not. I'm, I'm pretty much using it because I'm, I'm trying to get my beard to grow. But we ain't talking about that right now. And I don't need nobody capitalizing on that. I'm trying to get my beard to grow. So I'm using it for my beard. You know what I'm saying? For what? You know, just chill. Chill, though. Chill. But, uh, yeah, man, that's that's basically, I mean, there's nothing you could do, bro, but try to use uh, Rogaine to try to get your corners back. But, uh yeah, Von Hudson, 
Blessings, brother. Appreciate the five dollars, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, that's what's up, Devonte. Jeezy, appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Karan. Uh, dang, I, Karan. Listen, listen, Car carry, carry on. My bad. I don't know how to say your last name. Where can I get that brush, Jeezy? Listen, this is my brush that I'm coming out with. All right. It's a lot of trials and tribulations that I gotta go through to get this brush out. But this is the this is the, what this is what you're gonna get when the brush uh, uh, drops. This is my brush. It says 360 Jeezy on the back of it, on the top of it, I should say. It's just backwards for you guys, but it says 360 Jeezy. This is the brush that I'm coming out with, man. I've been working, I've been working on this brush for years. I drew it up. I got the, you know what I mean? I got the, uh, 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 um, what is it? Trademark on it. Nobody else could copy this brush. You know what I'm saying? This is my design. This is me from the ground up. I worked on it, you know what I mean, tirelessly from for, for years. And I definitely got inspired by the CQP brush, basically the Torino Pro brush. You know what I'm saying? That curve action, I definitely took uh, hits from that. But this is not really like a, a total curve brush. It is, don't get me wrong, it got a slight curve to it. But the way the way you brush with it, it doesn't, it does, it's not a curve. It just like fits comfortably on your head. You know what I'm saying? So you can vertical brush with this brush. Um, hold on. Let me read this. Let me read this other. Q man, uh, always going to support you every live, big bro. Appreciate the $5, bro. Appreciate, the, basically $6. Appreciate it, Q man. I appreciate it, man. You don't even know. I appreciate you coming in here and regulating and really just like, canceling out all the negativity before I even can see it, bro. Because trust me, I don't even see it by you being a moderator. You know what I mean? You be on it. You know what I mean? If I'm on somebody else's live, I mean, if I'm on other platforms, I see you asking me, when are you going to go live on YouTube, bro? So I appreciate the work that you put in to make sure my, to make sure I don't see no hate. So you ain't got to send no money, bro. That's what you do is good enough for me, man. So I, I salute you. Thank you. For real. Shoot, I jumped on live thinking where my moderator's at. But in my head, I'm talking about Q Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in my head, I'm like, where Q Man at? I know he's gonna be here. <laughs> but uh back to the brush. Um the brush is dope, man. And the reason why I say this brush is like the reason why I feel like this brush is revolutionary for the waves and i don't want to say that just because it's my brush i'm saying that because i designed it and what you can do with it so a lot of people will have problems in that crown area a lot of people will have problems in your crown area and you don't know how to get that back por portion to swoop right well with this with, with this um this tip right here it makes it easier for you to get behind that area all you need to do is tilt the brush and swoop it and the brush does most of the work but that's not that's not that's not the big key to this brush the big key to the brush is vertical brushing so i'm gonna get a brush i don't like to compare but i am gonna compare so when i vertical brush when you vertical brush with like a regular flat, flat brush you you're getting unnecessary um like right here in this section you're getting unnecessary brush bristles by it being so wide. You know what I'm saying? When you get by the crown area, you don't need all of this bristle. You don't need the whole bristle when you're brushing your crown area. All you need is something small right here to brush. So with this brush, it makes it easier for you to control how much you're really brushing in that crown area. Boom, right there. It's all, it's all what you need. You don't need a big old, you don't need bristles that's this wide to brush this area. You know what I'm saying? You might put up a flat brush near your crown area. Next thing you know, boom, you brushing wrong. Where are you brushing wrong? You're brushing wrong in this area and you're brushing wrong on this tip area because all you really need is to brush this section right here. All right. And with this brush, you know what I mean? The tip is just enough to get those areas. So that's why I say, that's why I think that I came back so quick because of this brush right here. Cause I didn't need to, 
uh, uh, catch up. You know what I'm saying? Brush them wrong. I just need to use this brush and vertical brush, and it, it really made my uh, crown come together. I focused on my crown like last, and it still came in, you know what I mean, connected. I just used the brush flat to build my waves. I just use the brush flat to build my waves and what's not going to touch your head is not going to touch your head. You know what I'm saying? If you're brushing like this, this point right here, this point right here is not going to affect anything because only this in the middle is going to brush your hair anyway. Regardless of anything, it works as a flat brush too. You know what I'm saying? You may think, oh man, when you put it like this, you know what I'm saying? You're getting angles that you, nah, it only, it's only, it's not curved so much to where it's touching other angles of your head. Not like, not like this brush is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When you apply pressure, you know what I'm saying? This part right here is getting hit and this part right here is getting hit. Well, this part, this brush right here don't have that, regardless of how much pressure you apply, it still has like, it isn't curved that much to uh, grip your hair and brush different wrong angles. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm trying to get the wording right. But uh, you guys get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I really I really put forth effort into, uh, you know, the, the just the design and what this brush can do. I really was thinking about all of that. So when this brush dropped, man, this, this is going to be the way brush. I'm going to call it. This is going to be the way brush to get. This this right here is the... This this is the brush, bro. We got Glenn in here? Where Glenn at? Let me see. Where Glenn? Let me see. Where Glenn at? What, what's Glenn? Hey, AG, I see you say Glenn. Where, what is Glenn's... Uh, I need to make my, uh, Glenn a moderator. What's... Glenn, if you ain't here, just say, hey, Mr. Stovall. <laughs> you probably already did. Uh, Durin, Durin Ellis, appreciate the $2, bro. Appreciate it. My bad if I'm butchering your name, but I got the Ellis right, though. How's life going? Listen, my life is going good, man. I ain't got no complaints. Everything is running smooth. But, you know what I mean? The coronavirus kind of, it kind of puts everybody, not just only me, but it kind of puts everybody at a Demi Downer type of thing. But I don't let it affect me and what I got going on, man. I just make sure I keep my mask on, stay away from folks, you know what I'm saying? And just keep pushing on, you know what I mean? I don't let it, like, distract me from, you know, barbering or, you know, because barbering is, is, I mean, we're all affected, but barbering got really affected by the coronavirus because we were shut down way more than anybody else, you know what I'm saying? We was the last to open and all of that, so, yeah, man, uh, I still keep a positive mindset, still keep positive, uh, attitude, uh, goons, but let me see, let me see, I'm trying to see where Glenn at, man, let me see, let me, let me try to find Glenn real quick, Glenn, Mr. Stovall, please, just type it in, Glenn is here, all right, Glenn is here, all right, all right, all right. let me see, add his moderator, boom, Glenn, I got you, Moderator in this band. What what EB talking about? AG, I've been here for a while too. All right, EB, I don't know if I want to add you as moderator yet. You know what I'm saying? I got I got my veterans in here as moderator. I don't know if I want. I I know who you are. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if I want to make you as moderator yet. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, it's 364 people in here. It's 288 likes. Please, if you just jumped in, hit the like button, man. Support the channel. It really does go a long way. Hit the like button, man, if you haven't already. It's cool. It's cool. All right, BB. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to leave it for, for the people that I know for, uh, for a long time. You know what I mean? When I see, especially Glenn. You know what I'm saying? AG and Glenn. Glenn helped me out so much with my hair health, man. I I, I got to tip my hat off to Glenn. Because if it wasn't for him, my hair would still be looking trash, man. I, I, my hair health wouldn't... It, my hair wouldn't be looking that silky. You know what I'm saying? I probably would be still struggling on my washing styles. Still struggling washing my hair 
uh, uh, once a month. You know what I'm saying? It's just It was just all bad before Glenn. So I got to show big love to Glenn. Shout out to Glenn Lewis for, for putting me on to the... You know what I'm saying? To the virgin babasu oil. Glenn sent me this and took my whole wave journey to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Glenn sent me this. You gotta think about it. Glenn got a product. Glenn got a product called Mink Mix. It's the best it's it's one of the best products I put in my hair along with this. I use this more so as like a I don't wanna use Mink Mix all the time and put in my hair and and, and, and use it all up. So then I'll do this. Um because this works well with my hair also. And I heard that virgin babasu oil was in Mink Mix as well. So that's why Mink Mix, you know what I'm saying? That's why Mink Mix is, is it works for my hair. Because, you know what I'm saying? If this is in it, oh, man. Yeah, this 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 does wonders for my hair, man. Now, I remember Glenn sent me, he did, he sent me this one. He sent me, he sent me this one first. He sent me this virgin babasu oil first. Um, well, the one he really sent me, I used it all. You know what I'm saying? Because Glenn always called me a goo gob. So, I, I mean, I did goo gob it because I really wasn't, you know what I'm saying, knowing the amount. But now I slowly start, like, you know, pulling back from how much I start to use. You know what I mean? You ain't got to use all of that much. Just, a, just, a, just, just, just like a quarter size. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to never say dime size. But, but, <laughs> but really, man, five cents. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say dime size, but five cents. Give me that, Glenn. Glenn, listen. Glenn, give me five cents, bro. Come on now. I used to use a whole dollar size amount. Come on now. A whole dollar quarter size amount. Bye, Jesus. I'm going to bed. All right now. See you later, bro. But yeah, I used to use a whole, whole, whole dollar size amount. <laughs> really more than that, but now... You know what I'm saying? I got down to five, 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 uh, 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 five cents. You know what I'm saying? Slowly but surely, I'm going down. I'm going down and down and down. <laughs> More like a quarter, geez. Nah, it, it, nah, it. <laughs> 25 cents is good enough. <laughs> oh, snap. 25 cents, man. 25 cents. I, I want to say I use more 25 cents than I do five, but I'm working my way down to a five size, you know what I mean, amount. What brush is that? This is my brush that I'm coming out with. This one right here is the prototype. This is like the medium hard slash medium. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know what I'm going to call this brush, but I am coming out with this brush because this brush is hard, man. And I'm not talking about the texture of the brush. I'm talking about the pull that it gives to your head, man. I've been using this brush my whole journey. This brush, I, this brush right here is what I'm giving you guys. This is like the medium soft, but it leans more to the soft than the medium. You know what I mean? I like soft, medium brushes. So that's what I wanted to come out with first. So, plus I like the white bristles. You know what I'm saying? I think the burgundy and the white bristles, it complements each other. Good vibes only, y'all. Yes, sir, Q man. But uh, this brush right here, this is my workhorse. I just washed this one yesterday. AG, I know I couldn't get down here. I know it's still dirty down here. It got some lint in here. But I didn't want to jeopardize, you know what I'm saying, getting the water inside. So I really had to do my, you know what I'm saying, AG wash method to get this brush to smell back to normal at least a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because I really didn't get, get down and gritty with it because I was kind of scared. You know what I'm saying? I only got one of these brushes. I only got one of these. I already chipped it. Dropping it on the ground. You know what I'm saying? In slow motion. Pow! It, it did a big crack, too. I was like, dang, man. Good thing it didn't break the whole brush. This wood is good because it fell hard. I'm talking about it fell hard. It was a hard fall. Uh, that ain't not, that ain't nothing but lint. You cool. <laughs> yeah. That is, yeah. I mean, it ain't nothing but lint, but... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 fairly clean. At least you can see down to the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Before I before I washed it, it, it wasn't no seeing down to the bottom. So I I did I did a fairly good job. You know what I'm saying? Uh you gonna drop an update video though? Update on what? It's done uh it's day it's day John. What what uh update are you looking for? 
We got Terrence T. What up, T? T, when you coming by to get a haircut, bro? When you gonna bring that big old truck? <laughs> but I don't cut on Saturdays no more, T. I don't cut on Saturdays no more, T. So if you trying to come on Saturday, listen, don't call my uncle talking about, can we get Jerry to come in on Saturday? Listen, I already had to do it this week. I'm not trying to come in on Saturdays no more. I'm done with Saturdays. The reason why I'm done with Saturdays, because I've been working on a job for nine years, all right? Selling rugs, okay? I was doing that job for nine years, and every Saturday, I had to work. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. I had to work basically seven days a week, you know what I mean? I never got a day off, you know what I'm saying? Saturday and Sunday, mandatory. I had to work in Costco's, selling rugs, you know what I'm saying? I hated it. I hated it, all right? Just to get into a career that 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 opens on Saturday, like come on, man. I, I was like, man, I love cutting hair, but the moment I could build my clientele to where I ain't gotta work on Saturdays, I'm about to do it. So I grind hard for a whole six years. You know what I'm saying? Five years. This this year, I think I kind of barely worked on Saturdays, but for five years, I grind hard to build my clientele, and I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going back, bro. I'm not, I'm not working on Saturdays. I'm going to get my Saturdays, my Sundays, and my Mondays off. You know what I'm saying? But my Saturdays I use now to edit videos and to, you know, I still, I'm still working. You know what I mean? The saddest thing is just because I take off that Saturday don't mean I'm not working. I'm just working. I'm just not working double time. You know what I mean? Trying to get these videos out. Let me see. T, T said something. Let me see where he at. Uh, right, Glenn, the world about to stop. He done washed a brush. <laughs> hey, I need to, hey, y'all ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Listen, I don't be really washing my brushes, but ever since I went natural, it's like, dang, when I wash, I gotta wash my brushes. So I've been doing it, and I've been doing a good job at it, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. I don't wash all my brushes just the one I wash with. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me let me give you for example. For example. I don't even know where it is. Dang, I don't even know where it is. I don't even let's just say this brush. Let's just make let's just make it up. Let's just make it up. Let's say this brush right here. Let's just say this brush right here, right? Boom. I'm washing with this brush, right? I'm getting a session in and I'm washing, washing my hair. So I'm like, all right, cool, I gotta wash my brush. Then I put in a, I put it on a dryer so the dryer can heat it up. You know what I mean? AG wash method. You know what I'm saying? So I do that. I got a clean brush. Now I'm thinking about using one of my good brushes, and I always think, dang, my brush is dirty. I'm about to put that same dirt right back on my head. So then I, I have no choice but to use the brush that I wash with. So the whole time I'm thinking like, okay, man, I don't want to, it's a battle too. For some reason, it's a battle. And then I end up being like, ah, I don't feel like washing it. Ah, you know what I'm saying? It's like hard. It's like, oh my God, I'm putting the dirt right back on my head. And I, I feel it. It's not that I feel it, but it's like, it's like I'm on this natural thing now. So it's like, ah, so from now on, I don't care. I'm washing my brushes. If I wash my hair, I'm washing the brushes that I'm going to brush with. You know what I'm saying? So I'm taking all the brushes that I'm going to brush with. If I brush with this one, I, if, if I know I'm going to brush with this one, I'm going to wash my hair and bring this brush. If I know I'm going to get in my soft session in, I'm going to take all of these brushes and wash them. And then while my hair is drying with the do-rag on, I'm going to put them under the dryer, do the AG wash method, and boom, have clean brushes. So that's what I've been on. And, and, and I'm going to be honest. And, and I'm going to settle. I'm going to stand by this. I just started this uh, 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 like two days ago when I washed my hair. The rest of the time, I've been sitting here <laughs> putting the dirt right back on my head. And I'm like, AG hey, would be so mad at me. Glenn would be so upset. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? But after I after I do a good session, it's, it's it don't feel like nothing now. It just feel like, yeah, it's a wrap now. All the dirt and grime is back up in there, but oh well. You know what I mean? It was clean while it lasted. <laughs> but whoever somebody said somebody said something about CT Barber Expo. No, I will not be there. 
um, I'm going, I, instead of going to the CT Barber Expo, I'm going back to Vegas to a trade show. That way I could get more information about like different, um, different, what's it called? Different distributors out in China and different distributors out in different places. So I could get more manufacturing, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I skipped out on the CT to, 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 for something more business and better for my, for myself, you know what I'm saying? Going to the CT Barber Expo is cool and everything. Don't get me wrong. It's nice meeting people that that you know what I'm saying that been following me for years. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Going to them, going to them events, it kind of discouraged me because some of y'all got lack of respect. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say this. Some of y'all got a lack of respect. Some of y'all uh, 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 don't say excuse me. Some of y'all don't care if I'm talking to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Y'all interruption game, the way y'all interrupt is kind of like way disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? It should be at least with the excuse me. Polo blends, I see you in here. It should at least be with the excuse me. You know what I mean? Hey, excuse me, Jerry, don't mean to, excuse me, Jeezy, don't mean to interrupt your conversation and nothing like that. I'll wait until you're done. Boom, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I would respect that. But when you just kind of pull my shoulder and be like, hey, can I get a picture? Like, bro, you not, you do you do you not see me in a full blown conversation with somebody? And and it's this generation, man. I would never do that to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't do that to nobody. It would just be straight up, hey, let me wait until he done. I'ma just stand by there and wait till he done talking. You know what I'm saying? Then go in with the hey Jeezy, I've been, you know what I mean? Blah 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 blah. I do my little spill. But I, that's a that's a downer with going to these events. You know what I'm saying? And at something like CT Barber Expo, I'm going to be real with you. I am not going to be able to enjoy myself off the simple fact that I want to buy clippers too. I want to look at barber stuff too. I want to I, I want to see say what's up to the people that I know, but it's going to be I'm so out there when it comes to like this barber industry that it's like I'm like Drake walking into a dang a uh, 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 rap concert, you know what I'm saying? Not to say that, not to say that there's anything wrong with that. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. And it's like, Jeezy, this is the, this is, this is, this is what you signed up for. This is what you asked. I know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I know this, you know what I'm saying? It's just, this is what stops me from, from doing that. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is what stopped me from going like, uh, I'll, I'll do this. You know what I'm saying? That's why I really made the decision. Like, you know what? I could have let my uncle go by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a team. You know what I mean? Me and my uncle. You know what I mean? I could have let my uncle go to Vegas by himself. Do his, do his. But I was like, uh, CT Barber Expo. I don't want to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to deal with that. Uncle Kev, I'll go with you. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's go. Let's go. Let's go do business. That's That was my mindset. But somebody, uh, somebody sent... $5, I appreciate you, no face. Zay in the building with the $5 donations. That's what's up, bro. 360 Jeezy, your brush is good for 360 Beehive. Man, it's good for anything, bro. I'm gonna keep it lit with you. I don't care if you got a Beehive. I don't care if you got 720s. I don't care what you got. All right, it's about, it's if if the brush can, can, can have a point to it, and as long as it have pull and a pull away, you good, bro. You good. It's not only for beehive. It's not only for for our swirl waivers, bro. You can use you can use it for be you can use it for beehive. It's all about how you position the brush. But I am I am gonna come out with a beehive brush though. While you're sitting here playing, I am gonna come out with a beehive brush. Don't oh, yeah. don't think I'm not. Drake, you're not. You're not that light skinned. Listen, listen, Glenn. Listen, chill, chill, chill. I'm just saying, Glenn. I don't even. I don't even have to explain myself. You already know what I'm talking about. I'm. I'm not. I'm not even gonna do that. All right. Well, well let me see. What? What other? What? What? What other big name person can, can I? Kevin Hart. I ain't gonna say nothing. It's like Kevin Hart going to a comedy show. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna know him. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's you can't say I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? We about the same complexity. You know what I'm saying? The complexity, complexion. Yeah, I, I don't know if I say that right. But well, anyway, you know what I'm saying? We about the same. We about the same same skin tone. I said complexity. <laughs> 
Uh, you remind me of Kevin. That's what's up, man. That's that's the person that I look up to. That's the only celebrity that I'll probably go out my way to go cut their hair just to be in just to be around them. You know what I mean? Everybody else I could care less, you know what I mean? My my biggest thing as far as like meeting a celebrity has been accomplished, man. I got a picture with Kevin Hart. I'm taller than him. You know what I'm saying? Me and my wife and Kevin, we got a picture together. You know what I'm saying? That that let me let me show y'all. Let me show y'all real quick. Let me show y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is my this is my this is my this is my moment right here. You know what I mean? As, I felt like I was complete when this happened. Dang. Where is it? Babe. Oh, here it is. All right, never mind, never mind. You know what I'm saying? What you mean, Kev? Dark skin, though. No. Don't get it twisted. I'm taller than Kev, though. I'm taller than Kev. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? I'm taller than Kev, though. Babe, I might put this in my room. Shoot. Babe, I'm putting this in my room. You got it right here. The Kevin Hart picture. That was my, that was like one of my biggest moments right there. And my wife made it happen. Thanks, babe. She made it happen, man. She got the tickets and the behind the, 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 behind the scenes, uh, the backstage meet and greet. She hooked it up for me, man. This is, this is probably one of the greatest moments right here, man. When, when I got, I got to take a picture with Kevin Hart, man. That's what's up. Cause I look up to Kevin Hart as far as like his grind. <clears throat> Just following him on Instagram, man. He don't let him, nothing stop him. He always working. He always posting. He's always doing something. Babe, get your behind your dookie shorts. Come Wait, on. That's so disrespectful. Man, it's disrespectful for you to come in here with your butt all hanging Nobody out on the mom. Right Babe, what you talking about? <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Picture up, man. I gotta get that. I gotta get that frame. The frame broke. Ah, Wife with her dookie shorts. Jared. Hump, baby, hump, baby, hoochie bomber shorts. Jared. Jared. Yeah, put your foot down. Come on now. It's on the third yeah, tell her, Jesus. That's what I'm saying, EB. She over here doing way too much. Coming in here with the stank booty. You know what I'm saying? Coming in here like that. Like, hold on, you ain't got a swish swash. You ain't got a swish swash like that if I'm here. You tell me swish swash. <laughs> You're coming around here swish swashing and stuff. Get your butt on out of here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on? Watch when you play this back. <laughs> play this back and see how she was walking. Like, babe, come on, you doing way too much, man. <laughs> doing way too much. I need a back, I need a backdrop. What's that? My guy Jeezy really said, uh, can I, what? Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> uh, did you cut Kevin hair before? Nah, Polo Blends, I ain't never, got, he already got a barber, bro. I know his barber personally, and they've been together since he, Kev wasn't Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? He was Kevin Hart, but he wasn't big like that. So he still got his barber on his team. He fly his barber out wherever he need him. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Hart got a barber. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing I can do unless I unless I contact his barber and like, bro, can you make it happen for me? I just want to cut his hair one time. You know what I'm saying? If I go to that extent, I probably could make it happen. You know what I'm saying? But I gotta be a groupie with it, but I ain't trying to I ain't trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just if it happened, it happened. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to I ain't trying to sit here and like you know what I'm saying. I don't know, man. If I if I get a chance to cut Kevin Hart, I'm probably gonna try to outdo 
I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to outdo his barber. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make him I I will try to make him be the crispiest person alive. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys jumped in here, make sure you hit that like button, man. Run them likes up. If you in here and you haven't hit that like button, bro, smash the like button. AG Wolf is still in here. Uh that's not you. You ain't you ain't never been the groupie type. Yeah, I, I ain't really. Uh, thank you for showing me so, so much love. Uh, Got to save this, save lives tomorrow. Hey, all right, Glenn. Go to bed, man. You too old anyway, man. I don't even know how. You, let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is about 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock? Let me see. It's about 10. What time is it? Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's about 10 o'clock your time. Yeah, man, you. Yeah, man. You, you, you get going, going, going and go to bed, Glenn. You know what I'm saying? He like, yeah, he got to put his glasses off to the side. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me take off my glasses and tell the young... Let me put on my glasses and tell the young man. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell the young man I'm up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Got to see here in time. Where, where, where's the... Where, 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 where is the TH? Let me see. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? Let me... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. He looking... Let me, let me see here. Hmm. Hmm, it probably took him 10 minutes to write that. <laughs> go on and go to bed, Glenn. <laughs> hey, G, let me, where, where, where is my spectacles? <laughs> he probably been wrote that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got Glenn so old, he ain't even that old, though. <laughs> I only say that because Glenn is about old as my dad for sure. Glenn is as old as my dad, and they come from the same area. You could tell they come from the same area. They they morals is the same. You know what I'm saying? They morals is the same. Don't 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 come over here with that nonsense. Let me tell you how Glenn is. Let me tell you how Glenn is. Glenn and my dad is one and the same. They do the same job. You know what I'm saying? My dad retired now. But they did the same job. You know what I mean? They worked for Kaiser. You know, I don't know what I don't know what uh medical facility Glenn worked for, but my dad worked for Kaiser, okay? For years, for about 30 years he worked for Kaiser. You know what I'm saying? Finally retired. He over here wishing and wishing he never quit. You know what I'm saying? He got all his gripe, been griping for 30 years about how he didn't, he don't want to be on the job. I don't work no more. This is my time. I just want to relax. Next thing you know, you relax, you're tired. You sitting here talking about, I should have never quit. I should have just kept working. I don't even want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Because you got, you know what I mean? OGs always got something. You know what I mean? If, it, if, you, if you're doing a job, you're, cr you're crying and yelling, you're screaming. If you're, uh, if you're not doing a job, you're crying and yelling, you're screaming because you're not doing a job. The old school mentality is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Don't come around here with all that jaw jacking and gibberish. What is that? What is jaw jacking? What is gibberish? AG got one. It's a smidge. What? That's an OG saying. You know what I'm saying? What's well, just a smidge? Who says that? A smidge? Jaw jacking? <laughs> what is that? That's that OG talk. Y'all got to get hit to it. I'm telling you. That's that OG talk. Don't come around here with all that. With all of what? <laughs> with, all, with all that. Don't come around here with all that. Okay? Keep you and yourself over there with that. You can't, you can't, hang, you can't hang with them. You know what I'm saying? They're always telling you to be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Quit, be, see, that's the problem with y'all youngsters. Y'all, y'all, y'all talk too much. Sit down somewhere. Learn something while I'm asking questions. See, that's the problem. You're too, too, too busy jaw jacking. What is jaw jacking? What is he saying? You're too busy jaw jacking, opening your mouth. Sit down and be quiet. How am I gonna learn if I don't ask questions? How am I gonna learn if I don't ask questions? You're too busy sitting here talking and jaw jacking. Oh, Lord. <laughs> just shut up a smidge. What's that? Just, 
A shut up a smidge? What is that? <laughs> you gotta read code when you're talking to the OGs. <laughs> Test tube, baby. What, what is that? A test tube, baby. I don't know if that's a I don't know if that's an offense or is it a compliment? <laughs> Should I take it as disrespect or, or what? Glenn is infamous for that. Test tube, baby. What? Test tube, baby. What? I, I, my uncle always say, hey, man, y'all, y'all, y'all the Pepsi generation. <sighs> right, right, right. Pepsi generation. What is that supposed to mean? I don't never, I didn't get that. The pe Pepsi generation. What is the Pepsi generation? He ended up telling me one time, that's when Michael Jackson used to do all them, 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 them Pepsi commercials and his hair caught on fire. He ain't been the same since. What, what does that got to do with me? The, what does that got to do with me? The, the Pepsi generation? So you say, so what you saying? So what you saying? What are we saying? I, that's what I don't get. What, what are we saying? The, the Pepsi generation is when Michael Jackson used to have his hair caught on fire. And he was doing all them Pepsi Generation commercials. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Okay, the Pepsi, okay, we our heads is on fire and we're running around with our neck cuts off. That is, that's what we just, it, I don't know. Y'all gotta learn, y'all gotta learn the OG slang, man. I'm telling you, learn the OG slang. It'll help you out. I don't know what it's gonna help you out with, but it's gonna help you out to relax and say, you know what, that's just OG talk. They just always complaining about something. That's just OG talk. They always write. There's no reason into them. You know what I'm saying? They, you got some knowledge. Don't get me wrong. You got some knowledge. You know what I mean? Saddest thing is you got some knowledge, but you y'all be the first one to come come around talking about. Hey, come over here. Come over here, youngster. Now, 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 now. Tell me how to get on this website. How 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 do you? Now, I heard about this app called Witchit. How, 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 how do you work that thing? I just don't understand. And you got to be like, you know what I mean? You got to humble yourself and be like, okay, all right, OG. Listen, all you got to do is blase, blase, blau, and blase, blase, blau. And then you tell them, and they, huh? So, so I'm here. What do I do now? See, if you will stop jaw jacking, you got to throw it back at them. See, what you got to do is stop jaw jacking. <laughs> you got to hit them back. Right? What would they hit you with? You got to stop jaw jacking and jibber jabbing. You know what I'm saying? If you would stop jaw jabbing and jibber jabbing, maybe you would learn something. But see, you over here. See, all I'm trying to do, youngster, is ask questions. I'm trying to see that's what I was trying to do. But you're too busy jibber jabbing and jaw jacking. You don't even know. You know what I'm saying? If you would have paid attention shh, and learned something. You got to hit them back with the same. That's why I say you got to learn the OG slang. Because you can, I'll bet, hit them back with the same thing. Because it's something that they ain't going to know. This new generation, we doing something different. We on a different platform. We doing other things. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't hip to it. So they're going to come to a, to, to a youngster to try to get that information. And when they get, trust me, you got them right where you want them. When they come and ask you. Because all you got to do is repeat back what they tell you. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get the that's how you get the OGs. That's how you get the OGs. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Listen to them. You know what I'm saying? Soak it in. Soak it in all the OG wisdom that you can. I'm not saying don't listen to these OGs. OGs know best. Trust me. Especially when it comes to life experiences. Soak it all in. But when you soak it all in and they sitting here, you know what I mean, telling you to be quiet and shut up and all the jaw jacking and all the stuff, soak that in. Soak the soak the sayings in too. You know what I'm saying? So you could throw it right back in your face. So you could throw it right back in their face. You know what I'm saying? Take that, take that there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You're gonna, you gonna need to ask me something. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, you gonna need something. Mm -hmm. And when you need something, it's, it's at your time to attack. It's definitely your time to attack. I don't know how we got on all this. <laughs> the, the OG wisdom, what you said. <laughs> For real. I don't know how we got on all this, but hey, that's that Glenn for you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, ten, hey T know what I'm talking about. How your unk doing, G's? <laughs> he doing good. He doing good, man. <laughs> oh, 
over here and cheating on my uncle. <laughs> Uh, he doing good, man. He doing good. For real. My uncle always kicking me knowledge, man. He always... That's that's the one person that I'm glad that's in my corner. You know what I'm saying? Because they're always looking out for me. He always kicking me game. And it's that wisdom that some people wouldn't want to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's that righteous... Uh, 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 it's that righteous wisdom. You know what I'm saying? It's that wisdom that comes from God. You know what I'm saying? It's that godly... Uh, way to be, you know what I'm saying? It's always that, and to some people that might can deter them to be like, you know what I mean? I don't want to hear all that, you know what I mean? And they would kind of, they'll probably uh, 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 turn a deaf ear to it. But me, nah, give it to me, man. I, I want, I want to get better. I always want to improve, whether it be like uh, uh, improve my life or me just being as a person. You know what I'm saying? You gotta improve. I was tapping my crown, listening to you, dog. <laughs> Man, I apologize, but you know I ain't lying. You know I ain't lying. <laughs> Dang, Glenn was in here the whole time. I was thinking, I was thinking, yeah, I done got by. Glenn up out of here. He even went to bed. You know what I'm saying? Let me talk my talk real quick. I straight talking behind his back <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> that will learn you, Jesus. <laughs> Hey, G, I didn't even know he was in here the whole time. I thought he'd have went to bed for sure. I was like, yeah, this is my time to go in. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Glenn know I ain't lying, though. Glenn know I ain't lying. It's, somebody, it's probably somebody he mentored right now. It's probably a youngster that he mentored right now that just can't get it right. You know what I'm saying? They just will not be quiet and listen. You know what I'm saying? But if he, I'm telling you, Glenn has somebody like me around him, that we're just soaking in knowledge and just, uh, not to say that Glenn don't have nobody, you know what I'm saying, like me that's soaking in knowledge, but Glenn know what I'm talking about. If somebody was like that, just soaking in knowledge and being quiet and listening to what they say, I do it to my uncle all the time, you know what I'm saying? I throw stuff right back in his face, you know what I mean? Stuff that he told me, all right, I'm going to just sit back, I'm going to listen, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to soak it in. But the moment I get to throw it right back on him, because they going to need something, that's the thing. They always need help okay the older generation always need help because it's new technology coming out it's new things that you know that they ain't gonna know because why they ain't tapped in they ain't tapped into it to, to what this new generation is going toward you know what i mean the where it's headed you know what i mean and they need that youngster to tell them how to do it so you just tell them how you know what i'm saying and the moment they act like they don't know how to do it, or, or did, you got to hit them with the, see, that's what I'm talking about. If you would just be quiet. <laughs> I hit my uncle with that all the time, man. I hit him back with his own words all the time. And we just be laughing, cracking up. Uh, can't change your YouTube name, bro. I don't know what his YouTube name is. Facts, I've been around my grandpa's, uh, grandpa's house 30 times print. 10 pages. <laughs> uh, after cutting hair, you need to do stand-up, Jeezy. Nah, man, I, I, I'm, I'm good where I'm at, man. This is my lane. I'm, I'm not a stand-up type of guy, man. I, I, I got to talk about what I'm interested in. You know what I'm saying? And barbering and stuff like that, that's what I'm interested in. That's where I'm comfortable at. Uh, just my topics, period. I don't know if it's a worldwide topic, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I ain't going to get too far deep into, like, relationships and all that stuff. So it's only so much I could talk about. So I probably, I wouldn't do good at stand-up, bro. I'm, I, I do good right in my lane with, a, with what I'm doing. Uh, if you have not got a cut by G's yet, please do be, please try to the Jeezy experience. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, AG. Is it worth learning cosmetology? I would say yes, because it'll teach you how to work with longer hair. So, if you can, do it, man.
I'm going to fly out and get a cut. That's what's up, T. Come through, bro. The brush I'm using is my brush, man. 360 Jeezy. This is the brush I'm coming out with, man. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Jeez, I'm an A Rab. Uh, can I get, can I, can I get braids? Love your vids. Sorry for spamming. Nah, it's all good, bro. I only seen this one. Um, you could get braids, bro. Anybody could get braids. You just need to find a braider that could braid. Uh, you ever do a tour cutting hair? Nah, I probably won't do that. I probably won't do that. It was some my interest back in the days. That I was, it was something that I wanted to do. But now, nah, that's not something I'm interested in. I'm more focused on coming out with products now. That's what, that's what I really want to do. I'll be just sitting around designing different things, drawing up different things. And uh, yeah, I got a couple of things drawn. I got a couple of different brushes drawn up. And uh, I already got a handle, a 3D mold handle to this brush coming out. I'm going to, I, I am going to do flat brushes. I am going to make my own brushes. That's, that's little crown brushes like this. I will come out with my own stuff eventually. So that's all in the works, man. I'm just taking it little by little, taking my time with it, not, not being anxious, not trying to rush anything. <clears throat> See who me and G's was talking about this. That con brush is the business. Appreciate it, AG. AG actually got to see it when I went down to uh, Vegas. She fake stole it. <laughs> uh, she fake stole it. But uh, yeah, y'all, I ain't finna be on here for long. I promised um, Khalil that I would go live with him on. Uh, Instagram so I'm gonna jump off of here hopefully um, hopefully Khalil hit me up and uh, we can go live on Instagram so if I'm not on here I, I'm, I'm ending this but I'm not on here anymore I'm gonna be on Instagram appreciate everybody for being here AG Q man uh, Glenn all my moderators appreciate y'all for patrolling the live Terrence T appreciate you being here EB I'm out. Peace.